President Muhammad Buhari has commissioned houses built for internally displaced persons and other projects embarked upon and completed by the governor of Bonu State, Baba Gana Zulu. Hi, welcome to What's Happening. These are the top 10 stories now. At number 10, the Nigerian government has destroyed 1,066,242 doses of expired Oxford AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccines. The executive director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Faisal Shwaib, disclosed this while addressing journalists before the destruction of the vaccines at the Idu dump site in Abuja. Shwaib said the expired vaccines were withdrawn from states in the country. He said the government took the action not only to safeguard the health of Nigerians, but to also engender trust in the COVID-19 vaccination campaign. At number 9, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency says it has arrested 226 suspects in connection with drug trafficking in Ebony State between January and December 2021. The NDLA commander in the state, Issa Adoro, who disclosed this, said the suspects comprise 192 males and 34 females and are within the ages of 13 and 75. Adoro said that 12,241 Tramadol 100 mg capsules, amounting to 4.777 kg, were seized during the period. He, however, assured the public that the agency's operatives in the state are committed to fighting drug abuse and trafficking. At number 8, the World Health Organization has warned that blanket COVID-19 vaccine booster programs could prolong the pandemic and increase inequity. The World Health Organization Director General Tidrus Ghebreyesus gave the warning at the last news briefing for the year at the agency's headquarters in Geneva on Wednesday. Ghebreyesus said, no country can boost its way out of the pandemic and boosters cannot be seen as a ticket to go ahead with planned celebrations without the need for other precautions. He stressed that the priority must be on supporting countries to vaccinate 40% of their populations as quickly as possible and 70% by the middle of 2022. At number 7, gunmen suspected to be bandits have killed 8 persons and abducted 17 women in Faskari local government area of Katsina State. The Deputy Speaker, Katsina State House of Assembly and member representing Faskari constituency, Engineer Dalhatu Tafoki, confirmed the incident to newsmen in the state on Wednesday. He said among those killed was a man attacked, killed and set ablaze in his car. Tafoki lamented that the area has been under continuous attacks by bandits in the last four to five days. Meanwhile, it was gathered that angry residents stormed and barricaded the Funtua Sheme Highway in Katsina State on Wednesday to protest against the continuous attacks in the area. At number six, the Independent National Electoral Commission has promoted 1,985 members of its staff nationwide. According to a bulletin released in Abuja, INEX said the promotion came on the heels of the 2021 promotion examination and evaluation carried out by the Commission. It noted that the promotion was in furtherance to INEX's commitment to the welfare and development of its staff. A breakdown of the figure indicates that 12 deputy directors on grade level 16 were promoted to the post of directors on grade level 17, while 78 assistant directors on grade level 15 were elevated to the position of deputy directors on grade level 16. At number 5, veteran Nollywood actor, filmmaker and chairman Screenwriters Guild of Nigeria, Sam Obiago is dead. Obiago's death was confirmed by the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Ejezie Emeka Rulas. The cause of his death could not be ascertained as of the time this report was filed, but the deceased colleague said he had been ill for a while and was rushed to the hospital on Wednesday midnight, after which he gave up the ghost. Sam Obiago is a Nigerian-born Nollywood actor, filmmaker, TV personality and movie producer who has featured in over 100 Nollywood movies. At number 4, Her Majesty Queen Silekuola Naomi has announced her separation from the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeye Ogunwusi Ojaja II. She broke the news in a statement posted on her verified Instagram handle and Facebook page on Thursday. According to her, she tried to make the three-year union last longer, but that the monarch's public identity is at variance with his true self. She wrote, Today I announce the beginning of a new dawn and the close of a chapter. Today I am the mother to God's unique gift. I am no longer a slave to my thoughts of perfection. I, at this moment, announce that I shall no longer be referred to as wife to the Oni of Ife or as queen of Ile Ife, but the queen of the people and mother of my adorable prince. 
At number three, Nigerian Vice President Yemi Osibanjo presided over an extraordinary Federal Executive Council meeting at the Council Chambers in the Presidential Villa Abuja, today December 23rd. Physically present at the extraordinary Council meeting were the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Bos Mustafa, Ministers of Justice, Abubakar Malami, Aviation, Hadi Sirika, Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, Interior, Rauf Aregbeshola, Power, Muazu Sambo, Water Resources, Suleiman Adamu, State for Health, Olorunimbe Mamora, Education, Chukwe Mekangwa Juba, and Environment, Sharon Ikiazo. At number two, the Federal Road Safety Corps says it arrested 113 traffic offenders in Bauchi State in the last one week. FRC sector commander in the state, Yusuf Abdullahi, told journalists on Thursday that 52 of the offenders failed to install speed limiting device in their commercial vehicles. Abdullahi said, since the beginning of Operation Zero, which began on December 17th, we have arrested 113 traffic offenders and our mobile court has prosecuted, particularly those who did not install the device. He added that the offenders would pay fines stipulated for refusal to install the device. Finally, at number one, President Muhammad Buhari has commissioned houses built for internally displaced persons and other projects embarked upon and completed by the governor of Bono State, Baba Ganazulu. Buhari left the presidential villa Abuja at about 10.04 a.m. this morning for Meduguri, the Bono State capital. The projects commissioned include the Custom Flyover, 20km Custom Mona Dual Carriageway, Center for Distance Learning, University of Meduguri, among others. The Commissioner of Police in Bornu State, Abdul Umar, said the command had deployed substantial number of its personnel for the visit of the President to the state. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening.